The pandemic is also hurting the airline industry, but now Maryland's airports are going to receive more than $100 million in aid to respond to COVID-19. Paul Gessler shows us just how quiet it's been inside BWI. Baltimore's easy come, easy go airport. This virus is so sneaky. Is now too easy. It's so unpredictable. Easy go experience. And too eerie. Been kind of slow. Kind of? Yeah, real slow. <laughs> Since the governor's executive order nearly a month ago, the TSA reports passengers are down more than 90 percent. People are staying safe. People are staying home. Airlines have changed the way they operate during this pandemic. Southwest, for instance, canceled their beverage and snack service three weeks ago, and they say they've been using hospital grade disinfectant throughout their fleet. While JetBlue has temporarily suspended its service here. We have a lot of dedicated people that are still here working. About 80 of the airport's 100 or so businesses are closed. Because all the restaurants and stuff like that is closed. Offering ground transportation. Passengers these days are looking a lot like Bobby Bloom. Yes. A traveling nurse. Scary though. She flew in Tuesday from Las Vegas. There was only five of us on my plane. Um, it was definitely a little weird seeing empty planes. We talked a lot about social distancing. Social distancing is written on the signs and displayed in our interviews. Uh, they're cleaning touch points, railings, elevator buttons. They're cleaning those things multiple times a day. Despite the drop in traffic, the airport has actually increased its sanitation. It's scary because I'm 65 years old and all my 65 years, I've never seen nothing like this. BWI's executive director says they're used to about 50 to 60,000 passengers a day. That's down to as low as 1,300 passengers a day now. Reporting from BWI, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.